Dr. Jang's Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Dr. Jang. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to transport ourselves back to the time when an elephant was a true novelty, and how to wear it was beyond imagination. Let's meet a six-year-old boy named Kao Chong, who outsmarted so many adults as he came up with the best solution. To the problem of weighing an elephant. Don't forget to watch all the way through because when I finish the book, fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Cao Chang weighs an elephant, by Songju Ma Zamek, illustrated by Christina Wall. Nearly two thousand years ago, in ancient China, there was a boy named Cao Chong who was curious and loved asking questions. He wondered if fish had ears, whether they could hear, and how they slept in the water. One day, Chong was very excited because he was going to see a gigantic animal called an elephant. There had not been an elephant in their country before. It was a birthday present to his father, Cao Cao, the Prime Minister of Han, from the Emperor of the Wu Kingdom. In the great courtyard outside the palace, the ambassador of the Wu Kingdom. Guided a huge gray beast toward the anxiously waiting Cao Cao, his advisors, and hundreds of guests. The enormous elephant used its long trunk to take one small nut at a time to its mouth from the hand of the ambassador. People applauded with delight. Chong couldn't resist running directly up to the elephant to stroke its head. The playful elephant gently caressed him back with its long trunk, causing Chong to squeal with laughter. What a wonderful nose it has! Chong said excitedly. It works like an arm and a hand. One spectator remarked, "This elephant is magnificent. It must weigh five thousand jin." Another declared, "With legs as thick as log." And feet as big as stumps. I think it must weigh at least six thousand jin. Excitedly joining in this guessing game, one advisor tried to measure the dimensions of the elephant. Another tried to lift one of the elephant's legs. The elephant patiently rolled its eyes and helped itself to more nuts directly from Chong's hands. An advisor excitedly took a piece of jade from his belt. I'm willing to bet the weight of the elephant against my favorite piece of jade, seven thousand jin. Another shouted, "I wager a weight of eight thousand jin against my best silver cup." An amused cow cow turned to the Wu ambassador. "Do you know exactly how much this elephant weighs?" "No, my honorable prime minister," he replied. Elephants are too big and heavy for our scales. Surely the wise people in your kingdom have a way to measure this. Cao Cao winked at his advisor and smiled. This elephant is not only a birthday present, but also a challenge to the intelligence and power of our country and its people. He stood up. My learned advisors and guests, who can tell me a way to determine exactly this elephant's weight? A quiet yet furious brainstorm now replaced the previous bold declarations. One advisor finally suggested, "Perhaps we could build an extremely large scale, one large enough to hold an elephant. Our scales are good for weighing food and small object, but this animal is far too huge." Another said. Yet another added, "The arms of the elephant scale would have to be enormous." The measuring pen itself would have to be as big as the floor of a small room. 
Another voice cried out, "The mass would have to be as large as our biggest bronze bell. Even if we could build the scale yet large, how could we make the elephant stay still and balanced on it?" Scoffed another. Perhaps we could slice the elephant into smaller pieces to fit on a normal-sized scale," suggested a voice in the back of the crowd. "What nonsense! That idea is totally silly and cruel," someone scolded. "You should not have to kill the elephant just to know its weight," Chong spoke out in a serious tone. Many nodded in agreement. "Father." Chong then called out, "I have a way." Cao Cao smiled. "You, my small boy, have a better method than all my wisest advisers." Chong ran back and whispered his idea directly into his father's ear. Cao Cao's eyes brightened. "Yes, I think that will work." Chong, his father, and the guests proceeded to a lake. A wooden boat was moored next to the bank. Chong led the elephant onto the boat. The weight of the elephant made the boat sink noticeably in the water. Chong directed the servants to use their knives to carve a line on the outside of the boat, marking the water line. Chong then guided the elephant off the boat and back to the land. The carved lines on the boat could be seen to rise again higher above the water. One advisor seemed puzzled. The elephant was put on the boat and now was taken off the boat. Little boy, what game are you playing here? You will see. Chong smiled confidently. Chong then ordered the rocks be rolled into the boat. The boat started to sink back lower into the water again. A few advisers now understood and opened their eyes wide with sudden amazement. What a clever idea! When the long curved line on the boat again met the water surface, Chong hopped back on the boat. He waved his hands. Stop! Now bring a scale and weigh all the rocks on this boat. The servants cried out the readings to Chong: forty-five jin, thirty-six jin, fifty-three jin, seventy-two jin. Don't forget me! Chong shouted, hoping on the scale to be weighed. Chong weighs forty-nine jin. Chong combined the weights of all the stones and subtracted his own weight. He proudly announced, "Father, the elephant weighs exactly nine thousand three hundred ninety-eight jin." Loud applause and cheers burst out from the impressed crowd. "Bravo! Clever! Ingenious! What a smart boy!" The elephant also seemed pleased, raising its trunk, blowing water into the air. And trumpeting a thunderous roar of approval, beaming with pride and satisfaction, Cao Cao embraced Chong into his arms. Good thinking, my son. By solving the riddle of the elephant's weight, you have proved our intelligence not only to the Wu Kingdom but also to the whole world. The end. Now it's time for an after-reading activity: weighing the elephant. To do this activity, you'll need a double pen balance, an elephant figure, but you can always replace it with other everyday objects such as a toy car and a wooden block, etc. And small objects used as reference weight. I'm gonna use glass beads. First, put the object to be weighed on one pen. The other pen is gradually loaded with small weights. Until the scale balances, as shown by the balance pointer being in the middle.
Repeat the process with other objects. Once you've finished weighing objects, record the results on the paper. Bonus activity. If your kids want to know the actual weight of the target objects, use the scale. You can get the weight by adding up the weights of all the beads and subtracting the weight of a pen. Like Kao Chong added up the weights of all the stones and subtracted his own weight. Thank you for watching PlyMath. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, subscribe to this channel. See you next time!